I found an AI video generator that's free, it doesn't even require a login, and the results are actually pretty decent. Let's take a look. This is the website, hiloaicom forward slash video. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. I understand that Hilo in Chinese translates to sea snail or conch in English, hence the little conch shell logo. Now don't worry if you can't read Chinese, I definitely cannot either. I'm in Google Chrome, and so I can just have it translate to English. That doesn't translate the text that's inside the graphics, but it translates everything else, so I know what's going on. Even if you didn't translate this, it's really simple. There's a box where you put your prompt, and then there's a button you click to generate video. Let's just copy a prompt from one of these showcase images down here. I don't know about you, but for the most part, these tend to be a lot better than what you end up getting when you try it yourself. So we'll take a look at this guy. And to get this prompt, I'll just click the copy button, close that out, paste it in the prompt box. Now, it pastes in Chinese, that's okay, but it understands Chinese and English. We'll hit the generate video button. For the most part, it's only taken a couple of minutes for a video to generate. While that's working, let me tell you that the website that you go to, hiloai.com forward slash video, is the website you want. If you just go to hiloai.com, you end up on this website. And if we translate that to English, it says, if you have any questions, why not ask the magic conch? So I assume this is some kind of chatbot like ChatGPT or Claude or something like that. Don't really know, don't have a need to mess with it. What I have figured out is that HiloAI.com and the HiloAI.com video generator are products of Minimax. Minimax is based in China and it is an AI company it's doing much more, it appears, than just video. From what I gather, the Conk AI is one of their offerings. So we'll go back and our video is ready. Like it's it. supposed to be a man eating American fast food, short black hair, t-shirt, small white table, blah, 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 the chicken nuggets, the this is really detailed, and that he's eating fast and uh, wolfing down his food. So the thing we're looking at with most of these, because we see a lot of videos where when they go to eat it just isn't working it actually kind of looks like this guy i mean he's getting the sandwich to his mouth he's taking a bite and it looks like something's changing there so i'll call that a win we're not even going to fool with looking at the videos that are in the showcase i took that prompt from a showcase video made my own i did the same thing with this one and this one's supposed to be like a home security camera fisheye looking out from the front door as a zombie approaches it gets the fisheye security cam or door hole looking thing it definitely gets the zombies and i think it does a pretty good job now as far as matching the prompt goes this was supposed to be the camera is fixed looking out the front door and the zombie is approaching the door and here it looks like they've got the camera going to a guy that's coming out another front door still a pretty creepy situation that i don't really want to deal with for this video i was going for a time lapse of a leaf changing from green to red as the seasons change it's not quite what i got uh, it's just a red leaf on a tree that has green leaves there is some movement in there. The background blurs a little bit more. It's a good looking video. Just didn't quite nail the concept. This one is supposed to be a soap bubble that sort of drifts upward and then pops. And it's a pretty cool video. I don't see any like major problems like weird morphing or anything, but it doesn't quite rise up and pop. It looks like it rises up, it falls down, and maybe it's about to pop right as the video ends, but it's supposed to sort of go up, pop, and then drop some droplets. If, if you, you watch my video about Kling, you might remember this. It's supposed to be like a POV, FPV camera flying through the woods, goes through a concrete tunnel, pops out to a grassy knoll with a view of a city. We start off in the woods okay. It looks like we're kind of going sideways. We're in the dark, but we're went, I guess, sideways through the pipe and then popped out. It's a little different interpretation, but I will say it started in the woods, it went through the pipe, and it popped out on a grassy knoll with a view over the city. The beginning and ending shots were exactly what I asked for. You know, maybe the pipe didn't come out so well, but I can live with this. I may be able to get that to do what I want if I adjusted my prompt a little bit. This I next one is a good example, I think, of AI surprise sometimes turning out to be a good thing. What's supposed to be happening here is she's supposed to be blowing some glitter from her hand. It obscures her face, and then she goes from a natural expression to a sort of a happy, surprised expression. What seems to be happening instead is the glitter just sort of appears. Uh, you would think it kind of looked like, well, did she sneeze that glitter? But then again, it's also coming down the sides of her head too. But 
it's really cool. I mean, I like it. If you needed a shot of a woman blowing the glitter off of her hand, this would not work. But what it came up with is pretty neat. I feel sorry for whoever's got to clean this glitter up afterward. For this one, I wanted a beautiful woman in a hoodie and sweats just walking down a country road. And why did I say beautiful woman? Well, because why not? If you're gonna have a woman walking down the road, why not make her beautiful? I'm watching because in many of the video generators that I've tried, her feet would have turned into huge long clubs and her face would have changed three times and hair color and everything else. And this one's just kind of working. We've got some nice camera movement that's, you know, walking backward. Uh, as she's coming toward it and there's a little bit of movement there but just the the physics and her moving her hands aren't disappearing either that's a huge plus with these things again i think this is a totally usable video now to test it with something a little bit more difficult than just a single person walking down a country road which is like i said i have hard enough time with that in a lot of video generators but i want to try something that had some more people and some more fast movements so i tried this pickup basketball game and as it starts, it looks pretty good. But then somehow another basketball appears. And then over here at one point, a guy right here, the guy he's guarding, they sort of morph together and become one person and a basketball appears. So, you know, this one, not so much usable. And I don't know what this dude's doing over here. Is he just in timeout? I don't know. He doesn't have much of a face, so I can't really tell what his expression might be. Here's a time lapse of a busy city intersection, and it did 10 times better than what I got out of Kling. Sometimes it's a little weird the way the cars are moving and the lights. Uh, some of them are doing a Tokyo drift out here into this intersection. I don't know, maybe that's realistic. But then we end up with a, a van sort of sideways and I don't know what's happening back here. The fact that it's time lapse sort of covers masks some of that weird movement, but still I don't I don't think this is really a, a usable one. So I gave it another shot with the time lapse of the busy city intersection at rush hour. And this is what it did. And I think this one came out pretty good. The only thing that bugs me is this weird floating green light over here. I'm not sure that really belongs. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. You know, there's some little glitches right down here. And I'm sure if you looked, you can find other issues. I think the reason that this one works pretty well is because the cars are moving very, very fast and so are the people while the camera's moving kind of slow. This green thing is just what jumps out and says, what the heck are you doing there? Well, that's what I got for you on Hilo AI, also known as Conk, also known as Minimax. Free for now with no login. How long that will last, I don't know. By the time you watch this video, it might already have some monthly membership and logins. Hey, maybe it'll stay free forever. That's not usually the case with these AI platforms normally as i'm sure you know they start off free and then they switch to a subscription model hey i hope you found this helpful i appreciate you hanging out with me and i look forward to seeing you in the next video